What's up guys, I wanted to make a quick video to update GTO Check subscribers on a few improvements that have been made recently. First, as you may have already seen from my last video, we've added support for ring anti and no anti games, and we've built a solid library of default preflop ranges that the solver can select from. Also, we've added a new feature, which allows subscribers to view and analyze the hands that I review on my YouTube videos so they can follow along with the action. These hands can be found in the Library of Shared Hands tab. For example, the first file uploaded to this library was the hand played between Phil Ivey and Stephen Chidwick that I reviewed a couple weeks back. So kind of like an interactive lesson plan, you can now analyze the hand simultaneously while watching my videos, which allows you to get really hands-on and understand the material on a deeper level. And if you want, you can also explore the hand even further on your own by examining combos and data that I don't discuss. Subscribers will also notice that the segment and draw tables look a bit different, where there is now a number that appears above each bar. This number shows the percentage of combos that comprise each segment or draw as applicable. So for example, we can see that top pairs comprise 24.1% of Ivy's range on the turn, and if we click on this bar, we see that of these top pairs, 0.9% is made up of gut shots, and the rest have no draw. And we can filter these charts by creating custom classes of hands, and then this information will update to show the relative frequency of such combos in the range. Being able to view at a glance what proportion of the range these segments and draws make up can be quite useful because combo density will often significantly impact strategies. For example, we see that two pair and weak pair stand out as essentially pure bets here. Part of the reason for this is likely due to the fact that these combos make up such a small percentage of the range as a whole. If these combos were more prevalent, it would be likely the case that the strategy would be more mixed for purposes of balance. And finally, you'll notice that there is now a slider that appears at the top of the class action table. This slider allows users to customize the threshold frequency for filtering hands by the available actions. So for example, we see that a small percentage of combos are betting full pot here. If we want to see how the solver is constructing its full pot betting range, we can click on this action. However, when we do this, nothing happens. The reason for this is because the filter is currently set at 0%, which means that when we click on this action, the dashboard is filtering for combos that bet 42.7 big blinds with any frequency. And so although this sim is solved to a high accuracy, it will often be the case that the solver will show each combo taking each action at least at some minuscule percentage of the time. For example, the solver is showing King 9 of Diamonds betting this amount 0.0042% of the time, which is essentially 0% of the time. So we added this slider to allow users to adjust the threshold frequency for this filter. For example, instead of filtering for hands that bet pot any percent of the time, let's filter for hands that bet pot at least 30% of the time. And now we see that the range has been narrowed significantly. We have pocket fives, which are betting for value, and then we have pocket fours and threes that have the gut shot as a bit of a merge bet, and then we have our unmade hands betting this amount comprised of the gut shot to the six. And then we can unapply the filter to obtain insights into how the solver is differentiating its strategies among similar combos. For example, if we go back to our pocket fours and threes, we see that the solver is betting full pot most often when holding the flush blocker. And if you click on multiple actions in this table, it functions as an or. For example, if we want to focus on hands that bet 21 big blinds or 28 big blinds with at least 80% frequency, we just move the slider to 80 and then click on both bet 21 and bet 28. And we see that this group is limited to pocket fives with a flush blocker, ace deuce and ace five for two pair, and the nine seven and seven six flush draws. So ultimately, this slider allows users to get a customized and very detailed look at how the solver constructs and balances its range for each action at each node. And that's it for this quick video. We hope these new features will enhance your studies and stay tuned in the future as there will be much more to come.